ladies and gentlemen, he is the the first time I've been able to introduce him on this program as such, the WWE Hall of Fame mentionee, Kenny Starmaker Bolin. Welcome to the experience. What a lovely introduction. Lovely introduction. I can't tell you how life-changing that my name being mentioned at the WWE Hall of Fame, what, what it's done for me. Uh, what it's done for others. I mean, good Lord. You've heard of a thing called the rub, right, Jimmy? Who, who others has your name being mentioned? Benefited? Well, apparently everybody. Apparently who everybody. Others? Everybody in podcasting because every since, as everybody knows what you did. What you did is that you mentioned my name to get a pop. You knew oh. that if you brought up the name of the old star maker, that that was going to get a reaction. That was because everybody in that building knows me. Either they've dealt with me, they've bought my merchandise, they've uh, maybe offended me one day down the down down the the, the path of my success. They've, but you know that every single person in that building, I've had a personal relationship you. with. Excuse they've, me. They've managed to submerge past you and and your personality at one time or another. Oh, I, exactly. And uh, for, I mean, which is really weird. Just a little old humble guy from Lagrange, Kentucky, who hardly ever left the state to be worldwide known the way I am. And I know what you were doing. You thought you were doing me a favor, but what you actually did is you did you a favor. Because by mentioning my name, did you see the Twitter light up? Did you see the Facebook light up? There was significant there was significant activity amongst the Twitterers and the Facebookers. You were the talk of the town, and, and of course myself. And uh, you could have mentioned anybody, could have mentioned anybody, but right off the top, you said, let me get them while I got their attention. Well, you know what? Just in case I put them to sleep later, let me get them while I got their attention. It, well, they told me also, that's that the professional writers that they have, and thank God that they yeah. have professional writers now, because I would have been at a loss of what to say if not for that. Who did he that, They told me they, they the first thing they'd say is hook them, hook them at the top. Yeah. And and then also they say you've got to. They said the one thing about the Hall of Fame speeches we've tried to impress on all the major stars that have been up here from the you know the rocks and the and the and the, the celebrities and the Austins and etc. is yeah. pick the right mentionee. Yeah. Well, when you when uh, you're gonna when you're gonna name drop uh, a, a, a childhood friend or or a, or a, a close confidant. You got to pick the right mentionee, and that makes the speech. That's well, what that, my call. friend, is where you nailed it. I mean, everybody said you nailed your speech, and I think in a roundabout there way. Lot, there was a lot of talk in that. In, in that. a roundabout way, I think people were saying, man, when he mentioned Bolin, he had them where he wanted them. And I agree with you. You got my attention. I'd been yeah. dozing off through that whole damn thing until, <laughs> until you got up there, and then all of a sudden I hear my name. Perked me up, so I can imagine what it did to everybody else. Well, everybody but, else said you, they threw the babies in the air. They were they were in a fever pit. You know what? But I didn't get the angle. I saw the camera pull back when you mentioned my name, and I saw the smile on Chris Jericho's face. I saw the smirk on John Cena's face. I saw a lot of a lot of different reactions when my name was mentioned. How high did the babies go? Because I couldn't see. Uh, actually, the babies were so high in the air they had the high roof. That, well, they, they had the arched roof, but also yeah. they they had uh, oh, soccer God. nets. They had soccer oh. nets around the lower part well, of the bowl well, to catch the babies. That's just common sense right there. You yeah. have soccer nets and little babies. So, but not only did the stunt you pulled, which was genius. It, I I'll, admit, I'll admit it was a publicity stunt to mention was, your name. I'll go it, ahead and admit it. Was I, was, genius. I it was, was wanting to hit TMZ. Uh, right, well, Brian? Because Swifty Flanagan told me that, Swifty Brian. Swifty told you that? Get, get on, get on. I'm talking to Brian now. Oh, excuse me. He said, Swifty said, get on TMZ. That's another thing. You you try to, to, to well, knock uh, Swifty, Brian. Page? Page got on TMZ. Would you let Brian speak? No. Um, I was about to say. Right. Well, what I was going to say was um, Page got on TMZ. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> See, me and Brian in total agreement there. <laughs> Paige was on TMZ a lot. She was even on the sports edition for some reason. A I lot. just I just realized. I guess that is kind of an athletic event, what Paige was Not doing. <laughs> oh, for heaven's sake. Look out now. I thought you were talking about Diamond Dallas. <laughs> <laughs> no, Not no. Well, that Diamond apparently <laughs> likes her, and maybe for good reason. I don't know why DDP <laughs> likes Paige. That's we're, a story. We're, we're on a different page, and we uh, a different but, DP. 
No, there weren't too many oh. people on a different page. They were all on the same page. <laughs> <laughs> I made a funny, that's, that's Foghorn Leghorn material right there. <laughs> We're, we were so, all on to get it right. We were all on the same page. Yeah, that's a good one, Kenny. That ain't bad. You know, so, yeah. we're supposed to be talking about the children, the camp. I had honestly not really planned on bringing up Paige's name. Y'all led me into that one. I didn't lead you into anything. I'm trying to get you away from it. And who was that referee that was seen there doing horrible things at the championship belt? What was he used to be with us at OVW? What was his name? Earl Hebner. Earl Hebner? No, well, no, Hebner didn't do anything with Paige, I don't think. What are you? I mean, he, he might he might have been the only one that didn't. I don't know. Hell, who am I? What am I to say? 